Hi, today I'd like to show you 8 good practices that you should follow when using WebWave. Those tips will help you create websites in even more productive, structured and basically easier way. Let's get into it. Let's start off with sections. Sections are fields on the canvas that divide your website into specific modules or, if you wish, sections. They help you maintain control over the content on your website. You can effortlessly move elements from one section to another. Of course, you can change the sections order as well. It's very simple and you can do it with just one click. Once we know what sections are, I will show you how to add them to your website. First, click the sections icon at the bottom of the layers panel and then click yes. Now that the feature is on, click the same icon once again to add more sections. In my case, I want to have 7 more sections. Now drag elements to desired sections. You can do this all in the layers panel. It's so easy and makes a real change in your design. As you can see, sections on this page need some errors and spacing. Click on the section, go to the settings panel, style tab and enable the margin feature. Set the values that you want. Now the website looks really good and put together. Global colors are a relatively new feature in our portfolio, but extremely helpful one. With just a few clicks, you can change the colors of multiple elements in your project and take control over your color palette. Go to the global colors tab in the settings panel and pick the color you want to change. In my case, it's this red one, named as secondary. Connect it with elements and now change the color. The result is immediate. If you want to change the type of color of a singular element, just click it and change the color to any other available from your palette. I'm not the biggest fan of this green shade, to be honest, so I'm going to switch back to it. As you can see, I can do this in no time. Text styles are a similar feature to global colors, but as the name suggests, they regard text styling, not colors. You can define and modify the properties of basic text styles on your website. You can save so much time when you don't have to set font type and size for each heading and text paragraph on your website separately. You just have to predefine them and the right style will be applied whenever you use the specific type. First, add to your text elements desired styles and then go to text styles in the setting panel. Pick the style you want and set its properties. As you can see, it will apply automatically. Whenever you finish working on a major part of your website, it's good to make a backup copy. When you move on and mess up, you can just restore the old version and be certain that your website will look good. To make a backup, you can simply save your project or go to settings and backup and click create a backup now. As you can see, there is a list of all the backup copies that you can restore. Now let's actually mess up our website real quick and then make it all up by simply restoring the backup. As you can see, it's so effortless. In WebWave, you can create a table you want at any time. It's very useful when you want to showcase content and data and keep them in the right order and scheme. The table makes it so easy to achieve. As an example, I will create a batch with a services packages. Insert the text element and click the table icon. Set the number of rows and columns. Add content and set the leading. In the end, delete the borders for this clean and modern look. And just like that, you can create an invisible table on your website. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to move one element just slightly lower but was worried it will ruin your entire composition and you will have to manually adjust all the other elements below it? With WebWave, you can drag an element and everything below it with just one button. Just hold the button on the element's edge and drag it. You have more room to do what you want without ruining your design. It's a life-saving feature. Now let's take a closer look at those green lines linking one element to another. 
Those binds allow you to keep constant spacing values between elements. Thanks to binds, elements won't cover each other when you make some design changes above them. To bind elements, you click on the one above, go to the Bound Objects tab and click Edit Binds. Now, click the plus icon on the element below and you're done. You just must remember that you should daisy chain them. The first one with the second one, the second one with the third element, etc. Some other rules worth remembering? Don't bind the footer and shared elements. And you can bind groups with elements, but not elements from separate groups with each other. You can use groups both in the layers panel and on the canvas. Thanks to proofs, you can manage the growing pile of layers better and tidy up all the elements on your website. Element grouping is also extremely helpful when you're creating a responsive version of your website. When you opt for automatic responsive web design, the website builder will adjust the layout keeping groups in mind and you will have much fewer final touch-ups to make. It's important to group elements that are close to each other and logically connected. To create a group, you can use a Ctrl G shortcut. By the way, on the screen and in the video description, you will get the list of the most useful keyboard shortcuts that you should know when working in WebWave. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found those tips useful and will incorporate them into your workflow. Let us know what you think and see you next time. Bye.